from Las Vegas, CBS Sports presents the National Football League. Today, it's the Denver Broncos and the Las Vegas Raiders. And a pleasant good afternoon, everyone, with uh, Trent Green and Melanie Collins on our sideline. Kevin Holland, welcome to the Strip here in Vegas. We've got a first-place team tied with the Chiefs in Denver at 2-1, and one, and we have them today taking on a very desperate, winless Raider team. Well, that just tells you, Kevin, what the fine line is in the NFL. you got a Denver team that is just finding ways to win football games, is sitting at 2-1, and one, and you have a Las Vegas team that has led in every game, but they're not finishing games. They've got to find a way to finish today. All right, let's talk about the specific issues you're seeing with that Raider offense. Well, I think it all starts with what the, the, the inconsistencies on offense. And, of course, you got to start – with Derek Carr, he's put up such big numbers throughout his nine-year career, but you have to understand he's had six different head coaches in his nine-year career. Finding that consistency with Josh McDaniel and the offense, of course, the, the two main targets that he has, no Hunter Renfro today, Devontae Adams, the big acquisition in the offseason, the big contract, and the huge week one numbers hasn't had that production in the last two weeks. Darren Waller, he needs to be productive today. I think that's how they have to attack this Denver defense. What does the team tell you about the uh, Denver Broncos who won two in a row? Well, and, and that's the thing. They're finding ways to win football games. They're not as consistent on offense as they'd like to be. They're big offseason trade for Russell Wilson to come in and, and be that last piece to get this team going. It's, uh, it hasn't lived up to that so far, but they're finding ways to win. Cortland Sutton now. Two years removed from that ACL injury has, has put up some really big numbers. Jerry Judy, on the other hand, week one had some big numbers, but hasn't had the production in the last couple of weeks. But this team, the reason they're tied for first in the AFC West is a dominant defense. They are in the top five in just about every defensive category. They put pressure on the quarterback. They get sacks. They're outstanding on third down, and they're even better in the red zone. Why this team is 2-1 and one is that defense, Kevin. Out of full house, a lot of Bronco fans here in Vegas this afternoon. We've had the flip of the coin. Raiders won it, and they will receive with Abdullah and Bolden beat back. And the kickoff for the 2-1 and one Denver Broncos will be Brandon McManus. Special teams have been kind of an issue for the Broncos last couple years. No longer. They seem to have things rectified. It's a big game for the Raiders, a desperate team, and we are underway with Bolden taking it from the one for the Raiders. And slipping and sliding his way upfield. Picks the 30 with a nice return. On 31 goes the former Patriot and Dolphin, Brandon Bowen, to the sideline. Let's welcome in Melanie Collins. Thank you, Kevin. This week's been all about a reset for this Raiders team. On Tuesday, the captains held a players-only meeting in which Derek Carr told us the main message was, hey, we're a really good football team with a terrible record, but it's not time to hit the panic button. They stressed the importance of keeping their confidence and their passion high, but they felt very encouraged by the extra sense of urgency displayed at practice this week. Guys, they know this is essentially a must-win game for them. 